The Great Pyramid of Giza is arguably the most mysterious structure on the face of planet Earth. Although we're generally taught that the pyramid was constructed by the ancient Egyptians as a tomb for a pharaoh, this video is going to share some compelling evidence that suggests a different story altogether. Because within this mountain of stone, we find feats of engineering precision and mathematical knowledge so advanced that it defies explanation and would be a challenge to replicate even today with modern technology. How really was this pyramid built and for what purpose? No one truly knows the answers to these questions, but I believe that by exploring these mysteries we can open our minds and expand our consciousness. And here on this channel, that's what we're all about. Welcome to a new series on cosmic consciousness called The Mystery School. Ever since the first modern studies of the Great Pyramid, researchers have been astonished by not only the enormous size of this structure, but by its sheer precision. For example, even though this massive pyramid is 750 feet wide at its base and covers over 13 acres, it somehow leveled perfectly to within half an inch. And the base of the pyramid is as close to a perfect square as any modern construction. Today this kind of engineering is only possible using laser technology, but it gets even stranger because the entrance of the pyramid faces true north to an extremely high degree of accuracy within one fifteenth of a single degree. In fact, amazingly enough, the Great Pyramid to this day is the single most accurately aligned structure ever created by humans. Considering that the pyramid is almost 500 feet high and consists of over 2.3 million stone blocks, to say the least, it's impressive that this gigantic mountain of stone was perfectly aligned to the cardinal directions. And it's a mystery how or why that was done with primitive technology. Some speculate that the pyramid's location on Earth is intentional as well, as it just so happens to be near the exact geographical center of all the Earth's landmass. Did you know that the Great Pyramid is essentially a perfect scale model of planet Earth itself? The measurements of the length and the width of the pyramid correspond to an exact ratio of the Earth's latitude and longitude measurements at the equator. Of course, the ancient Egyptians supposedly didn't even know they were living on a spherical planet, much less what its dimensions were. But here are some more odd details. The pyramid was built on the scale of cubits, one cubit being exactly 1 25 millionth of the Earth's diameter. The length of the Great Pyramid at its base is 365.24 cubits, which just so happens to be the precise length of a year on Earth down to the fraction. If you take the location of the Great Pyramid as a coordinate, this number happens to be the exact speed of light measured in meters per second. Of course, this could all just be coincidence, as historians claim, and yet the pyramid also encodes universal mathematical constants such as pi, which is closely approximated in the slope of its walls, and the golden ratio. Even though according to historians, again, the ancient Egyptians had no knowledge of these numbers. When you consider just how much knowledge of Earth and astronomy and geometry and geography all seem to be encoded in the Great Pyramid, is it really fair to dismiss all of this as mere coincidence or accident? Or were these numbers encoded intentionally? If this was intentional, it represents a level of knowledge beyond anything the ancient Egyptians had, suggesting a missing history of the true builders. The pyramid is not four-sided, it's actually an eight-sided pyramid with slight concavity on each side, which must have made the design that much more difficult to execute. And yet, according to Egyptologists, this structure was only built in around 20 years. So with 2.3 million stone blocks, that means that the builders would have had to place around one block per minute, non-stop, 24 hours a day over that time period to get it completed. Is that realistic? It's also bizarre that out of the tens of thousands of hieroglyphics found throughout Egypt, not a single one of them describe anything about the construction of the pyramids. Why is that? 
And what about the purpose of this structure? I mean, mainstream archaeology tells us that the Great Pyramid was built as a tomb for a pharaoh, but is that really the case? There never was a body found inside, and the pyramid looks very different from other Egyptian burial tombs, which typically include halls that are elaborately decorated with hieroglyphics. We just call it a tomb because we don't know what else to call it. The pyramid has all these peculiar features that seem to serve some purpose beyond just a burial site, and there is extremely compelling evidence that the true purpose of the pyramid was something far more advanced than anything we currently understand. For example, while the outside of the pyramid is made of limestone, this central chamber, known as the King's Chamber, is specifically made out of huge blocks of granite rock, which had to be transported from over 500 miles away in Aswan. The granite blocks placed here in the King's Chamber weigh around 70 tons each, and yet somehow they were lifted more than 300 feet off the ground and placed with precision. And to say the least, we have no idea how this was accomplished. The leading theory is that the builders created an enormous ramp to drag these stones upwards by brute force. But in order for that to be true, the ramp would have had to be at least as large as the pyramid itself, which is not only completely absurd, but we find no traces whatsoever of any ramp. To me, the placement of this granite rock in these inner chambers is clearly intentional and compelling evidence of something far more sophisticated than a burial tomb. Christopher Dunn and other researchers suggest that the pyramid may have been a technological structure built by highly advanced builders and used to generate energy, and there is some supporting evidence that the pyramid does concentrate electromagnetic energy. Recent radar scans of the pyramid has revealed a large and unexplored cavity, which some call the Big Void. Another smaller chamber was also detected. What might we find in these undiscovered chambers and why are they there? No matter what we believe about the true story of the Great Pyramid, there is clearly more to this structure than anything we currently understand. This video has quite literally not even begun to scratch the surface because underneath the Giza Plateau is a huge array of underground tunnels and chambers, most of which are undiscovered, and many more mysterious sites are scattered around the area. Is it possible that these mysterious sites predated the ancient Egyptians who re-inhabited them and claimed them as their own? Is this all evidence of lost civilizations or highly advanced builders from the ancient past who we now have no knowledge of? Personally, I do believe so, and if that is the case, the secrets at the Giza Plateau could open up phenomenal new discoveries that help humanity evolve and awaken. And once again, that's what this channel is all about. So what do you make of all this, guys? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear what you think, and thank you so much for joining me today. A special thank you to all my patrons for supporting this work. I appreciate you all so very much, and I'll see you in the next video.